Okay, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to make one of these wooden apples. Um, they're quite nice to make and got a nice little dark stem on there. This one's teeth, so let's get started. As you can see here, I'm mounting it between centres on my lathe. I've got a, a prong drive in the chuck to hold it in. Now I'm just tightening the tail stop up to hold it in firmly. And now I'm going to mount the tool rest in correctly and start turning, roughing out with my roughing gauge. says mount it on a uh, the thing with a screw through it um, but I'm not gonna do that I'm gonna mount it in a chuck with a um, tendon well, that looks round enough to me so I'm just gonna turn a tendon down the end and I'm just gonna because um, I only have one set of jaws for this chuck I'm gonna use the calipers to see how far the chuck um, will expand and I'll make the tendon that big for the most support. Well it turns out that these are already set to the distance that it can go so I'm just gonna turn it down with a parting tool sorry for the wind it's a bit windy today turn it down with the um, parting tool um, I'm not really sure how deep it deep but um, turn it down with the parting tool and then use this to measure every now and again the um, diameter of the tendon or tenon. If you like, you can part off the piece, or you can cut it off with a bandsaw. I chose to part it off just because I thought it would give it a cleaner cut. When I remounted it, I pushed the uh, tail stuff up to give it a bit more support. Well, it's looking good so far. Um, just need to smoothen it up a bit. Um, I'm not really sure what shape I'm going to go for. Um, they've gone for this sort of shape. Um, but I'm just going with um, whatever I think and it looks like. Okay, now I think it's time for sanding. So I'll get my sheets of sandpaper I bought here. Amazon. Um, and I'll start at 120 grit and go all the way up to, um, I'm not sure at the moment, um, depends. So this is starting off at 120, now I'm going to move to 240, 320. After every sanding, 
uh, of a different grip. I buffed the um, uh, the piece to get rid of any dust that got caught in the pores of the wood. Now I'm going to go to 600 grip. I'm playing close attention to the top of the wood as that's normally where I get the best results, the smoothest results when I'm sanding. And it's looking really good. Liking the green on the teak at the top and how it fades in to uh, the long grain. It looks really nice and uh, it's got really golden colours to it. It really glows when it's lit up. Now I'm going to, I think this is 800. Now you can really start to see the uh, glass finish when you get above so 1,000, 1,500 grit. You can really start to see the shine coming out. So this is 2,500 grit, I still need to do the 3,000, but you can already see it's got a lovely shine to it. I'm not really sure I'm going to shape the bottom, I'm probably going to do it with a skew chisel, one of these thin skew chisels. Um, I'll sand the bottom by hand, not up to 3,000 grit, that would take ages, just up to, I don't know, 600 probably. And um, yeah, I'll have to drill a hole through the middle and put a bit of dark wood dowel in. And yeah, that, I think that'll be it. But so far it looks brilliant. Well, I've sanded it down to 3000 grit now. Very shiny uh, glass finish on it. Um, now I'm making the stalk. And the stalk is made out of some decking. And this is test decking. You can get test decking whenever you go to a a uh, place that sells wood, I guess, a champion. But anyway, that sells decking, <coughs> they normally give you a test piece, like this, this size, to see if it matches in your living room, if it matches the paint or whatever. Um, but whenever I go to champions, I always get, I always take one or two of these. I've got this one and this one with some cool grain on it. Um, just because uh, the grains are pretty cool in most of them. Um, and the, most of them are hardwood as well, so I just take them, and um, they're free as well. They let you take them. Uh, you, and I cut this on my fan, so you can see this lip here. And I cut that off the other side, and took this, put it in my. Um, I have no idea what chuck this is called, but I put it in this chuck, which is like really, really fine stuff, um, thin down. So I put it in there, I turned it down with my skew. Um, to practice my ski technique and then sanded it down to 800 grit. Now I'm going to take it off with a hacksaw, a junior hacksaw um, at here because the, um, the tip of it is a bit dented and stuff so I'll take it off there then I'll take it off there and then I can drill a hole and um, mount it in the apple and then part it off. There you go. Just parted it off with um, Julie Hacksaw. Um, I don't know what wood it is. I think it says Caboni. I think that's the wood. So yeah. Um, smells like licorice. Um, yeah. And now I'm just gonna drill a hole at an angle, like um, like in this book here. See the holes at an angle and then um, I'll cut the dowel at an angle, like here, and uh, put that in, glue it in, and see what it, see what happens. Sorry about the rain, but uh, now I'm uh, sanding down the little piece I made um, to the angle. I thought that would be easiest, and just the end of it, neaten up. Okay, so I've got a mounted back in the lathe, and now I'm just going to use a Sim punch and I'm gonna press it right in the middle until it clicks. And anyway, that's, uh, that's my centre because um, there's an indent. Now I'm gonna get a drill 
Um, this is quite a nice spiral, so I'll keep this in and uh, say it's a feature. Uh, let's clean it up a bit, um, and I can probably continue. Be, I have to be a lot more careful. I don't know. I don't know why it's doing it. Um, it's my fault. But I'll carry on. I'm sure I can uh, say the decorative and nothing else. They weren't an accident, they were definitely decorative. And I uh, just need to go ahead and glue that in. I think I'll use some Gorilla Glue for that, just because it's a bit too wobbly for wood glue. Um, but yeah, it sits okay, it's a bit wobbly, but it's fine. So, um, I um, hope you enjoyed it. I've parted off with a um, skew. I don't think I got the video of that. I've uh, parted off with a skew and I uh, teaked teak oil at the bottom and uh, sand the bottom to um, 800 grip so um, yeah there you go how to make a wooden apple you can probably use the same method to make a wooden pear